Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be looking at the Transformers Generation Selects. Uh, I guess tech. No, I guess he is technically a legacy. Um, well, he's based off of the Kingdom Cyclonus mold, first of all. But this is the toy accurate colors of Cyclonus. And first and foremost, humana, 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 humana. This guy is beautiful. The nice dark purple with the blue and the um, in the dark gray. <laughs> He looks just, um, he, he looks immaculate, in my opinion. And even though I screwed him up with a couple of his bad sticker placements, um, I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, I'm also currently transforming regular Cyclonus because before the review, my dumbass forgot to transform him back. A little peek behind the camera here. So as done as a polymer jazz. Um, but I'm also afraid to touch this guy. I, I'm afraid to touch him, uh, and you will see why when I actually do start touching him. That sounded so wrong, <laughs> but it is true. Um, there we go. Stay. Um, so, first and foremost, he comes with th four accessories. He comes with the regular blaster and... Ooh, stay up here, you. There we go. Um, and the blast effect. And these look really cool. Uh, it's just the same gun that um, the other Cyclonus used in a dark black, like a, a very dark uh, silver. Or no, I think this is a gun metal. Um, and then, you know, Cyclonus is in regular silver. Move those off to the side. And here we have Nightstick. His um, target master. And here you go. And he's a cute little guy. He's got orange for the face here. Um, he's just got, you know, the standard uh, Warpath gun barrel uh, sticking out of his chest here. Um, that's the handle. And then a gun barrel. He's based off the Caliburst mold. So, you know, not, nothing really too much to say. It's a good, it's a good gun mode. It's fine. It works. It does its thing and yada 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 blah 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 and powerful gun. Ta-da and I depending on the figure I like to have the arms forward that way it just gives it a wee bit more of a heavier set look. Um but for Cyclonus I I like this version. I, I like doing it the traditional way. And then you also got this little blast effect here for Caliburst. Not Calibers, Nightstick. Oopsie doodles. Um, but yeah. There we go. And now let's get on to the uh, figure himself. And first and foremost, uh, I like him. Design-wise, I like him design-wise. Um, I have a very, very large problem with this particular feller. Um, my copy is extremely loose. Um, like he... Like these joints feel loose as all get out. Um, they can hold like, y y yeah, that I, he doesn't hold the poses very well. And I apologize that my, um, that he looks black in this, um, in, in, uh, this shot here. Um, my setup is still, you know cheaply done so i literally just have two <laughs> two lamps and a overhead light um so unfortunately you're not getting the really nice like glossy purple that made me want to get this guy um and i do not normally say this about a figure but when i took him out of the box i very very slightly regretted my choice in getting this guy only because of the bad uh, joint. Like, his shoulder won't, like, doesn't really keep a decent enough uh, size. But that is, that could also just be, you know, a tightening thing. So I can just tighten up the screw here and that'll be good. Um, all the, like, it, and it's only, like, like this shoulder here, this shoulder here. Are just a little loose. This shoulder here is tight enough that I feel fine with. And the legs are still good. 
it's just the arms and this swivel here on this arm here has got a is pretty loose too um but that and i do not even if the toy is bad like even if the toy is bad i still never usually regret my choices because at least like I, I used to have the or not used to i still have like a uh, landmine from cybertron that guy's legs were flopping about all willy-nilly, but those were on ball joints and it was a toy from 2005. The only problem I really had was just the, um, you know, the arms. And even then, I can get past, like, the uh, I do not keep him in robot mode. I can, I'll say that I normally keep him in jet mode because that's the mode I love and that's really the mode that I got this guy for. Because the dark purple and the dark gray look absolutely stunning in vehicle mode. And it's going to look great when I show you guys um, this. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll uh, it'll look good. Um, but yeah. Um, just, he's got the same articulation as Kingdom Side... Uh, I was about to call him Sideswipe. It's Kingdom Cyclonus, and you can kind of see I put the stickers on a little topsy turvy. This one turned out good. This one, not so much. I need to work on my sticker placement. Um, looks like I have to buy more Gunpla. Oh no, what am I going to do? Actually, you know what? No, that is a bad. Yeah, no, even Cyclonus is looking at me like, you're an idiot. Stick in no one lane. No, I will not. I'll do both. And one of these days, I will get back around to reviewing Gundams. I promise you that. Uh, it's just getting to work on a proper setup for him. Um, but yeah, he has the exact same articulation as Kingdom Cyclonus. So heads on a really good ball joint. Arms can go out that far. Suck it, Magnus. And arms can... Uh, bicep rotation, you got really good ones. You can do I'm a Little Teapot. Kind of, sort of. You can do the, uh, Wormen, ba -dum -ba -na, Wormanly Men. <laughs> From, uh, if you've never seen Robin Hood Men in Tights, go watch it. It is bloody hilarious. It's a Mel Brooks movie, so it's really funny. Um, but yeah. Uh, legs can go out yay far, can go back yay far. Got a really good knee bend. You can get a little bit... Uh, mm, mm. Uh, that's another thing. This guy's knees like to lock on me. So, you can get... Ah, uh, no, nah, it's still kind of meh. So, yeah. Uh, and then feet are just on a... Uh, on a swivel. So, he can... He can uh, Michael Jackson. He can do the Michael Jackson thing. Hee <laughs> hee. Damn. Actually, that was one thing I never knew about Michael Jackson. When... He did that, um, that, uh, the pose for show. I didn't realize that those were magnetic shoes and that he had a wire. Cause I was in, I was a kid when I found out that and yeah, but I mean, you can also kind of attach the Nares and the purple's a little closer to, um, to this version of Cyclonus. So it kind of fits a wee bit better, but also no. So for comparison, really the only comparison that you really need to do here he is next to kingdom cyclonus and you can just kind of see like the the differences here like oh jeez this looks like a huh i guess this i guess my uh, my other cyclonus really is afraid of this guy um this I they look really good together. They look like Oh my god. Hey. It's Cyclonus and his armada. Eh? Eh? <laughs> That's a funny. That was a funny. <laughs> um yeah, no. So uh <laughs> Now we know what happened to the other guy that became the, quote, Cyclonus. He became an undead version. Um, he's in stealth mode. Um, but yeah, I, 
these look really good together. Um, this reminds me a lot of a, um, I guess a more alternate darker universe of Cyclonus where he has a little bit more of that, that greebly detailing, um, the little flare here on his, uh, on his back and on his wings, but just with the, the loose joints and everything, it makes him look a little bit more unsettling too. Like he's a little bit more bestial than your typical swordsman cyclonus. But I think that's a really cool looking duality. Um, Paragon of Justice. Kinda. Sorry, we'll, we'll say Decepticon with a coat of honor. Decepticon with a coat of honor, not a Paragon. Demon. Just demon. Nothing else but demon. I think he looks great. I, I love him. Uh, I'll just take you back over here. And if... You kind people would just give me uno momento, por favor. I will quickly get him in uh, to vehicular mode. And we're back. And here he is in jet mode. And oh my god. First of all, they somehow ruined a transformation that was beautiful with the tolerances. <sighs> Seriously, trying to get the legs into this um, configuration is a dream on the original. In this, they tightened it too much on my copy. And with the floppy shoulder arms, it was just... It has turned a transformation that I enjoy into one that I found a wee bit tedious to get into. Only because of just that... Um, uh, you know, into something that I actually liked. Into something I'm not quite a big fan of. However, the vehicle mode is really why I bought this figure. It looks great. Um, you have the same kind of articulation points as, um, like the other main Cyclonus, the, uh, you get the ailerons here where you can angle them down. Uh, you can also put the pink explosions in right over here. Once it's over here. And quite honestly, I feel like the bright pink kind of suit this guy more than regular Cyclonus only because it looks like he's burning fuel a lot faster and a lot harder than regular Cyclonus like this guy is in my opinion a beast like he is 100% on a mission and will burn everything away in his path like he even has his uh I can put them on correctly. Oh, for the love of... For the love of Primus, man. Keep your damn blast effects in. Keep them in. There we go. And quite honestly, this looks cool. He he looks like he's really, really blasting away. Um, like normal, you can have the uh, the null rays underslung if you want, and I think they look cool. Um, you can stick the um, either of these two. Oh, nearly a lot knocked over my uh, my stand. Um, you can have the uh. The gun underslung here, and also have the other one underslung. But that kind of ruins the aerodynamics of the vehicle. And it also looks kind of stupid when you think about it. So I don't do that. But you can also stick it up top. And that just looks silly. You can stick this up top. That also looks silly. And if you want to be really silly, transform this guy. And now he's holding on for dear life. This was a bad idea. Ah! And yeah, so that is it for Nightstick. Now for... The only comparison that truly matters. 
Take this. Take this. Get rid of all of this. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. And we will put the uh, landing gear down. And I forgot to mention this on the original Cyclonus review, and I do apologize. He also comes with landing gear, and it is super helpful. And these just look great. Like, th these look like very specialized vehicles, which, I mean, they are. Like, they, they look really good together. Like, you could see these on a tarmac and be like, yeah, here's the X1 and the X2. Slight Star Wars reference there. If you get it, post it down in the comments. Uh, if you don't, someone in the comments will explain to you, or I will explain it in the next video. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Mwahaha. Viewer engagement! Sorry. I've gone a wee bit insane, I think. But at least I ain't thinking I'm a god. Yet. <laughs> Wait till I get a Unicron. Then I will be a god. That or a Primus. Um, but yeah, no, so you can kind of see just basically the colors that they chose for this version aren't coming up that well on camera because they're so dark. Um, but instead of the, um, the, this really nice, uh, kind of a lavender purple, that they chose for the entire body with small accents of a darker purple and silver. They've decided to go for a dark purple with metallic gun metal highlights and small blue, uh, very dark blue for the sides here of the, um, of the ship that kind of go underneath and go down to his chest. And this looks really nice. It looks menacing. This is scary by itself because this looks like a giant horn, um, like a giant mosquito. This looks like a mosquito on steroids that wants to murder your entire family. This one's looking for a snack. This one is looking for a meal. This one's going to have a mukbang online. This one is just going to really quickly dine and dash. basically. Um, but yeah, no, these look amazing together. And quite honestly, I'd actually like to do a very, very quick, uh, family shot. So we'll have the two jets here. We'll have you here. Megatron cannon, or Galvatron cannon, my bad in the middle, move back the camera and get perpy potato all the way here and no i will not be getting a scourge armada well actually i may just as like a uh here's the entire family and honestly these look great together if purple potato would stop shaking i swear one of these days it's going i i'm not going to review you stop shaking Shaking. Please. Por moi. Gracias. Bendejo. Um. But yeah, these, they all look amazing together. And like, even without uh, Cyclonus here, like even these three, they look good together. These two match more in color scheme, which is really nice because they also match in color scheme with the purple potato. And yes, I know it's called purple. Like, the figure is called Purple Potato. Why? I don't know. But it's a purple potato. And he turns into a shockwave. So, I mean, kind of cool. Kind of meh. But, c'est la vie. Um, yeah, no, he is really nice. And, there we go. Um, just... It looks really good as a set. And you know what? Actually, we're going to have him be the star of the show. So, Galvatron, you get the backseat. There we go. And it just looks amazing. So, that is it for the review, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'm recording this before I see... Uh... I'm recording this the day before uh, this video goes up, so um, I don't know if we've hit 20 or not. 
So if we do hit, if we have already hit 20, or if we're going to hit 20, um, thank you all so much for subscribing. Uh, and B, don't worry, there will be the uh, the big surprise review uh, coming up uh, all next week. But uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be nice to each other, all that good stuff. And if you feel like following me on Twitter, uh, I'll have the uh, the link down in the in the description as well. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.